I've chosen a set of wall tiles from a tomb in Iran and they're from Kashan uh, and the tomb is said to be of a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad and the wall tiles are in luster and uh, they're based on an eight-pointed star and the eight-pointed star is a very common motif in Islamic architecture and art and I'm particularly interested in this tile because it's very geometric it gives you a very um, ordered sort of organized pattern uh, but at the same time, you can see the hand of the artist in the way in which the uh, tiles have been drawn, the, the floral motifs have been drawn and painted. The mosque on Hackney Road is a very interesting site because it's a mosque that was established in the 1980s by a Bangladeshi community. Uh, and they established it in an in a existing Victorian house. So it's an adaptation of a house which has been used as the mosque. And there was a small um, single story uh, workshop at the back which was used as the prayer hall. So my job was to replace this workshop with a new three story building uh, and to combine the two buildings, combine the existing house and the new mosque. I took the tile design and I used it as the basis for the facade structure of the mosque. And I took an element of the tile pattern, so I took a corner of the tile geometry uh, and I changed the scale of that uh, and then I applied that onto the uh, facade of the building. My idea was that I didn't want to take a whole complete geometry uh, and apply it onto the mosque because I was interested in the way in which, um, you know, as diaspora and as migrant Muslim communities, uh, we uh, take fragments of Islamic history uh, culture and architecture and we reconstruct a new Islamic identity through those fragments. It, it demonstrated that it was a new um, way of being, if you like, within an existing environment. I think diaspora communities are in a continuous process of reconstructing cultural and historic identities uh, and I think the museum and the collection in the museum plays a very important role in presenting those objects and that cultural heritage to diaspora communities to be able to draw from uh, and to be able to use as a resource because the process of reconstruction of identity which I think uh, for me that's what diasporas are continuously doing uh, and the museum is one of the very important um, constituents of that.